All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to make cat tongue cookies because I've got a serious craving for them. They're like this butter-sugar cookie combination that can be decorated many different ways. You can dip them in chocolate. You can put them sugar on them. You can put fruit and coconut. You can put nuts on them with caramel. Oh, my God. The possibilities are endless, so let me get right to it. What we're going to need to do is use our KitchenAid mixer. We're going to use the paddle. We're going to start with one and a quarter cups of sugar. Okay. So let me, uh, with granulated sugar. Okay. There's one. There's my quarter cup here, guy. Okay. All right, so we got one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar, and now we're going to use two sticks of salted butter that has been softened, left out at room temperature for a little while. Okay, and we're going to want to capture the hair there butter because it's a lot to leave right there on the on the wrapper okay look at all that that's part of the mix we need that yes okay so this is why we work on a clean surface at all times and then we can use this as a <laughs> as a little holder isn't that convenient okay so we're gonna Put this guy on, and we're going to put our paddle on. Start her up. Low speed as usual. Okay, that is when I like to put my vanilla in. A typical capful, well, partial cap. See how this is a small batch, and this is like. Let me tell you, this vanilla is getting really strong. The longer it goes, the stronger it gets. Okay, my friend Anita made this vanilla. Oh man, heck yeah! Look how look how look how dark it is now. I could literally probably mm -hmm. sniff that bottle all day long and be like having a bad day. Day. Oh heck yeah, for sure. All right, so now we've got our sugar all um, you know mixed right into our butter, and now we're gonna add some egg whites. Okay, let's see here. Another cup there. We're going to need four of them. Okay, that one can go right in. There's one. All right, I guess I don't need both of them. You just got to be real careful here. Yes. See how gentle I'm being? You just want to let it, you want to let the white come out and then let it, let it slowly drop right on and then let the rest of the white float off the back. And you just got to be patient with it. If you want to bring it over again, sometimes you can get just a little bit more. See, but you don't want to risk breaking the yolk and then getting that in there if it just calls for whites. Alright, All right, so before I put that last one in there, I think I want to scrape it. I'm just been letting the sucker go. Okay. And yeah, we want 
want to get that down into the bottom, into the mix, so that it all gets smooth. Otherwise, these are just going to be chunks. We don't want that. Okay. All the way down to the bottom. Oh, it's nice and loose. No worries. Very good. And this is actually going to get kind of frothy because there's so much egg white for the amount of uh, butter and sugar. So it's almost going to whip up like a meringue a little uh, bit? No, no. Well, no, because no meringue whips without any fat. Um, this The base is butter. We're just adding a lot of whites to fluff up the butter. Uh, so to me... There's that and that. I guess this is easy. Okay. <laughs> this mix is like so easy peasy, it's ridiculous. Okay, so now here, show show the show the audience how fluffy that's getting. See that? Oh my goodness. Look at that. that really puffed up. Yeah. Okay, now keep keep the camera right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, I, pre I pre-measured it just before we started. So. This is exactly two cups. Putting that in there. And it's gonna tighten up a bit. This is one mix where it's okay to mix it for a bit after it comes together. You know how I'm normally saying, ah, don't overmix it, don't overmix it. Yeah. This is one where you can get away with it a little bit. Once it starts pulling away from the side, that's where I like it because I'm gonna actually pipe this through a bag, okay? Oh. And I want it to be nice and soft and there's so much egg white in there already that it's not gonna form a flour gluten. I mean, that's just not gonna happen. You know what I mean? All right. So look, look at this, look how fluffy that is. Beautiful. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, I can get away with giving a little extra mix because of how how light it is to begin with. So, yeah? Yeah. All right. Okay, so, let's get this out of the way. And put that over. All right. There you go, folks. This is what it looks like. White, fluffy joy. Oh, yeah. Doesn't even look like cookie dough, does it? It's more like nougat. <laughs> it looks like a very stiff cake batter, almost, or like a pound cake batter. But, yeah. well, what's going to happen is here now, I'm going to... Oops. Get my handy dandy pastry bag out of here. Okay, just a straight up coupler, no tip. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> if only it was like mashed potatoes, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm also making shepherd's pie. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll save that. Don't need to put it all in the bag at once. Okay. Always good to be on a clean surface. 